things fresh and constant during the campaign. We did um, some kind of small paid ads. We talked to press, we talked to influencers. We didn't do any additional events offline, but that could be a really fantastic thing to do. We thought about um, having a party if we weren't quite at the target, that we were just going to get everybody we need to a bar for the last sort of couple of hours of the campaign and have a screen up and, and sort of force slash encourage people to continue giving as we went along and kind of put a tab behind the bar and give everybody free drinks or something like that. But really, um, just to kind of keep people engaged, enthusiastic. Once your backers are backers, they're sort of on this train with you. And so it's really important to keep them as part of the journey, the people who have given, as well as people that you might want to give. And then post-campaign, um, no matter what happens, you have to thank and acknowledge your donors. Um, we did that mainly online, so we did lots and lots of very grateful posts where we tagged uh, every single person that reached out to us. Everybody also got a personalized thank you email for us when they gave even two or three pounds. Um, we were really, really grateful, and we made sure that people knew that. Um, transparency is really important, so I don't know if any of you have um, participated in crowdfunding campaigns where it seems like they've reached their goal and then dropped off the face of the earth. Um, and that kind of sucks because you're now invested in this and you want to know what they're doing. So we stay in contact, not too much because until the app's done we don't have a ton to say, but we make sure that our users know what we're up to when we launched, when we started, when we, um, sorry, selected our developers. We announced that to everybody because this was the money that they helped give us. So there's been a sort of, you know, they're now part of the family and there's sort of a constant thread of communication going through. Um, new donors, so when we finished the Kickstarter campaign, we immediately sort of launched a just general pot where people could continue giving to us on GoFundMe. Um, and as things have come up in the press or on blogs, we've gotten additional support through them. Um, it's very important to continue to cultivate new donors. There were a lot of people, um, besides our friends and family who were guilted into giving to us, we got a lot of people who gave, particularly at quite low levels, so five pounds, 10 pounds, who were just really excited and interested in the cause. And so a lot of what we've been doing is trying to get them engaged in ethical and sustainable fashion until the point where we have the app ready to go. Um, and this just should feed back into your same process of how you identify, cultivate, and solicit donors, I think. Um, a lot of the platforms have rules about what information you can get. There's obviously data protection in there, but some platforms give people the option to opt in to share their information with you. Um, with Kickstarter, all we got was their email, so we just went out to everybody and we said, we'd like to keep you posted. Can you please let us know if you'd like to continue to be informed about our activity? I think every single person said yes. Um, and those people fit into our kind of overall pipeline. So I think that's it for me.